There's nothing better than a classic southern casserole. My mama brought me some squash from her garden and I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. Hey y'all, I'm Valerie and welcome to my kitchen. In today's video, I'm making squash casserole. Now let's go ahead and get started. I'm so excited to share this one with you. You'll need about two pounds of squash. I cut them up into about a quarter inch thick slices. Then I added them to a large bowl along with one diced onion. Now we're gonna take this over to the stove top so we can cook it down a little bit. In a large skillet, I added a couple tablespoons of oil and all of those squash and onions. Just let them saute a little bit, 10 minutes maybe, just until they're tender. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button that way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I should have already added my seasonings. Oh well, I'm doing it now. So I added one teaspoon of salt and a fourth of a teaspoon each of pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. Now stir that up. When it's done, you can remove it from the heat and pour this in a strainer or a colander to get all that liquid out. We don't want a soggy casserole. Now back over to the counter, in a large bowl, I added two eggs. Whisk those together just a little bit. Then you're going to add in half a scoop of sour cream and a big old spoonful of mayonnaise. And it's got to be Dukes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Are y'all team Dukes or team Miracle Whip? Okay, and that was one and a half cups of sharp cheddar cheese I added in. I'm just giving it a little stir before I add in the squash. I've been letting that drain, so most all of the liquid is gone, so it's ready to add in. And now I'm gonna give it one last stir. I'm using a nine by 13 inch baking dish for this casserole. You'll want to grease it or spray it with nonstick spray. Now pour in that squash. Make sure you spread it out so it's kind of even in there. Now push that to the side and we're going to make up a topping. I've got one sleeve of crushed Ritz crackers here. I'm adding a few tablespoons of butter to it. Now stir that around and get it all combined. Then you can sprinkle it evenly over the top of that casserole. I don't know if it's a Southern thing, but every casserole has to have a topping. Don't you agree? Whether it be Ritz crackers, cornflakes, cheese, stuffing mix, potato chips, you gotta top it with something. Now this goes into the oven to bake at 350 for 20 minutes or until it's golden brown and bubbly around the edges. This casserole is super easy to make and it is absolutely delicious. On this night, I had made baked chicken and sweet peas to go with it, but you know what? I could just have this for supper, just the casserole. And that would be just fine with me. That squash is so good with those buttery Ritz crackers. You have got to try this. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You may also like these. Don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will see you in the next one. Hey y'all, I'm Valerie. And welcome to my kitchen and my tummy's growling. <laughs> My mommy brought me some squash. <laughs> My mother brought me some squash from her garden. <laughs> do I need to redo that? No. And let me do that one more time. <laughs> no, no, don't do it over, don't do it over. Is it a classic or old fashioned? And I've just seen a you beetle fly. One more time, just one more time. I don't know why. <laughs> my mama said my hair is approval now. <laughs> oh, there goes the beetle. <laughs> Did you see it? 
Say, I'm not gonna laugh at my mommy. I'm not gonna laugh at my mommy. I see you.